the light on the camera, on the television screen, never goes out. Different images appear. Uh, and before we drop the body, we have no idea what those images will be. I was greeted by a group of the most joyous spirits. And these were spirits that I couldn't identify as, oh gee, there's my father or my babysitter. Because each of these spirits were more than just that one person. I was upset because I didn't know what was happening. What God did is he used people that people or things that I liked to calm me down. There was this angel on the ceiling and um, I have to admit that I played hooky from Hebrew school and I didn't know anything about my religion because they stopped reading from the Bible in third grade so I didn't know that there were Ju Jewish tra 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 traditions about angels and um, I thought that angels were something on top of a Christmas tree. <laughs> so when I saw the angel, I, I was surprised and I w was looking at him like, are you in the right place? <laughs> mm -hmm. And the next thing I knew, my grandmother was there. Now she had been dead for 14 years and I had never once believed that anybody existed beyond their death. And my grandmother just put her arms around me like she did when I was a child and pulled me into her chest. A figure came up and he was Pop. He asked me, are you Todd's son? I said yes. He said that he was his grandpa, so that's where I met him. And there were beings, not that I could see, but that I was aware of. And they were completely uh, compassionate, loving, uh, incredibly caring beings. And they were so filled with love. And that's true of everything having to do with heaven and every angel I talk to. There's this all-encompassing sense of love and uh, joy. But the next thing I know, I'm sitting at a conference table, a long conference table, and my wrists were resting on the table and I could sense that there were people touching my arms. Um, I could see their hands, different genders, different ages, different nationalities, but they all seemed like people I knew. Go back. You know, it was pretty firmly said, go back. And uh, in, in the condition I was in at the time, I recognize that voice now. Today, it's uh, one of my younger brothers who had died. He took my hand such as, as it was, and I was at peace. It was like I knew him, or I, I, I didn't have any questions at that point, and we went flying out the window, and I was staying in Venice Beach, and um, flying out the window and going to the Pacific Ocean, which was one of my favorite things. And Off to my left, down the table, about halfway, was a man who was dressed like my childhood idea of God. He had white hair, a beard, a long white robe tied at the waist, sandals, the whole thing. And he sent me a message telepathically, rather stern, I think, because I had a rather stern idea of God at the time I was young. Um, and he said, what do you want? <laughs> the next 